Reading I Ching The Army Change of Lines The first line, which is located at the very beginning of reality, is Yin. The line corresponds to the lowest base, where a large amount of water is gathering. As mentioned in the overall meaning section, in order to form a strong team, it must be based on a strong force of yin at the bottom. That is, we should establish a fair discipline from the beginning, and follow it strictly. While it may be acceptable to be flexible in dealing with personal matters individually, such small exceptions may accumulate as a team, and finally bring down the whole group as a result. On the other hand, the second line, which is in the center of the current reality, should be yang. So many people have come together now, each of whom holds his or her unique thought in the heart. In order to bring them together, we need someone who can gain trust of those people, who can give them a common vision, and who can make bold decisions, and lead them in difficult times. It cannot be simply achieved by strong discipline and law alone, but we also need to have warmth in our heart, which allows us to understand other people's position, and take care of them. One step further from the reality, is a line of yin again. When there are too many people around us, it may become hard for us to deal with them all at the same time. A variety of opinions will appear, people might break into factions, and such factions may fight against one another. Although the first line of yin has laid the foundation with disciplines, it may not be enough to maintain the whole. Such rules also require rigorous leadership that can execute them fair and square. We may say that while the first line symbolizes a legislative branch, the second one an executive branch, and the third one a judicial branch. When any one of these three is lacking, it may become difficult, to maintain such a large group of people. Now that we made sure that the separation of the three branches of a government was achieved in the bottom trigram, we go up another level. All three lines that occupies the upper trigram are yin. Let's start by looking at the first line of yin among the three. Now that you have made many people gather together as a team, sharing a common vision, it is understandable that you may want to drive them forward in full force. However, having too much confidence may be poisonous for your future. Take a good look at the situation, and if you are not sure whether you are in an advantageous position, it may be better for you to take a step back, retrain and rearrange yourself and your team. Such precautions may bring you a better result in the long run. Now, look at the middle line of yin in the upper trigram. This position is occupied by a line of yin, which symbolizes the system and norms, instead of yang of strong leadership and driving force. As for a small group, one single leader may be able to connect with everyone in the team, and lead them on with his or her charismatic force. However, it may not be possible for one person to deal with every little problem in a large group. It may be a better policy to delegate appropriate authority, to the people who can best perform the required roles, and to bestow them with enough jurisdiction, to fulfill their duties without being swayed by other forces, in order to lead the whole group in the right direction. The final line is also yin. When there are many people, even if they say that they share the same purpose and vision, they can not all be exactly the same. There may be subtle differences in what each person wants and believes, and there should be different strong points, that each person excel at. If we ignore such characteristics of individuals, and treat them equally without any distinction, people may, on the other hand, complain that they are not treated fairly. The last line of this hexagram tells us, that individual people should not be judged by the same measure, but that they should rather be placed in different positions, that correspond to their unique characteristics, and that we should let them gain what each of them wants, in return for their efforts.